there's pros and cons when it comes to the uh, the state of hip hop. I think um, there's some there's some hip hop where it's it's more so uh, recycled, bro. Where it's basically the same beat that's being done over with the same choruses, but it's not the creativity has been lost. You know what I mean? And I think there's some there's there's certain artists, J Cole, uh, Kendrick Lamar. Uh, Corey Guns, the spitters, you know what I'm saying? That are still around, that, that makes me feel happy to still be a part of the whole hip hop situation. But, you know, my thing is the whole cookie cutter thing, it, it, it got too monotonous for me, you know? Similarities is always the love for hip hop. Difference is basically tone and accent, actually. But uh, the love for hip hop is there. Uh, I think that, um, when you're overseas, you're not much so jaded with what you see on television, like how it is in, in the United States, because you know, everything there is more so forced, you're force fed what they deem to be hip hop in the US. And I think um, with hair, it's basically keeping everything as uh, basic as possible, and the love is totally different. For me, it was always there, but um, you know, you'd hear hints of it in my music. I wasn't even I wasn't even really able to go full steam. So I think now that I'm able to just do what I want to do for myself, that I can actually go full steam without any problems, you know what I mean? So I think that it's it's more so a, um, it's the completion of my cycle. Because I had to be stifled in the beginning from the label, because the label was just like, I mean you can do uh, you know, bits and pieces of the rag of stuff. So you had like Ring the Alarm and Crazy and Original Rude Boy, but I wasn't able to drop a record like Love Me Sensi or nothing like that, cause you know, that'll be too, uh, <laughs> it'll be too crazy coming from the majors. So, man, it's beautiful because I could actually, I could actually get my thoughts out faster. Um, and I could actually share, a, 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 I could share myself more actually. You know what I'm saying? I have the freedom to do what I want to do without any um, limitations or any scrimmages when it comes to music. So, you know, sometimes I just wake up and be like, well, I'm gonna write a song like this and actually put it out. I think that um, the way in which people are gravitating to the new stuff, it's pretty good and I'm happy with it. The whole internet thing kind of leveled the um, playing field between the independents and the majors, which is a cool thing. And also with the artists and um, artists and their uh, supporters uh, because you could actually get music out faster to them and you know in these times when some you know your fan base is kind of fickle you could always feed them new stuff to keep them interested in what you're actually interested in your movement actually so I think it's a good thing the whack thing about it is <clears throat> artists who actually um, people who play artists who you know wake up one day and you know, while making a peanut butter sandwich, you know, they start chanting this thing and they make a record out of it and put it out. I, I think um, giving them that freedom is cool, but you have to really sift, can I curse? Yeah, you have to really sift through a lot of bullshit to find good music, you know what I mean? But um, the best part about it is that is when you sift through the bullshit, you know what the bullshit is? Until you get to the good music. If that makes sense, yeah. As long as you focus on your craft, shouldn't be any problem, because there'll be a thousand whack MCs. I've come across 2,000 whack MCs. But I think as long as I remain with my craft and focus, I mean, it'll actually stand out the way in which it's supposed to. Um, I've always been asked that question about uh, standing out, but I think um, as long as as long as I stay who I am and do what I like to normally do and put out the music that I like, you know what I'm saying, and feed my fan base, I know that it'll grow, whether they be old or new, so I'm cool.